Hi guys, and welcome back to another video of the Lamps Revamp. We are on month four right now. I haven't had an update in a while because we've been really just, you know, hustling around here. We went to Europe for 10 days. We've had Thanksgiving, Christmas, Tracen's birthday, and New Year. So it's been a very busy time here. But I wanted to share everything that I've been documenting this far since the last update. I want to say the last update was October 13th, I believe around then. So I'm going to take you through what we've been doing as well as show you kind of all the clips that I've been taking throughout this whole time. I think the major glow up would be this room. Hi, G. Yeah. So cute. You're so cute. Yeah, you too, big couple. All right, let's walk you through this room. This room is almost done. Weird, right? So we decided that we wanted to do built-ins here and we went to the store and all of these built-ins down here are base cabinets that we got from Menards. We primed them. and then we painted them and I will have the color listed here on the screen. If you are local, we bought too much paint. So if you need a gallon, holla at your girl. Um, but yeah, and then Jared built all of the upper built tent himself. That is that. We also did put crown molding at the top. You guys remember, there was a ginormous closet right here that we got rid of. We pulled that out, patched up all the work. We did electrical in this room, painted the room, and the color is Chantilly Lace. This is my favorite white of all time. Um, we have it in our master bedroom. It'll be in the kitchen, and it'll probably be in the back room back there when we repaint it. It's just a very beautiful, bright white. No yellow, blue, purple undertones, it's great. Um, then for the windows, we did this trim on it and I liked, I liked that it overlapped right here, but not down there. And we trimmed them in because we are not getting a new window there. And then we continued them here in this doorway and then as well as in this doorway. Uh, Jarek was worried that it would be weird because it doesn't have a thing like a side right here, but I think it looks great. The last thing we did was the flooring and how beautiful is this floor? It's a little more red on camera than it is in real life and obviously it's pretty dirty right now with, you know, shoes and dogs. It is beautiful. It went in really well. We have 14 cases still plus, I want to say two, two boxes here to do the kitchen. So we think we actually will probably be returning about five boxes because you don't waste much when you do it here. This is floating floor. There's no nails, no glue, and it is hardwood, but it's manufactured hardwood. So the top is hardwood and then like the under part is a plywood. It is so easy to put together. It's super durable, beautiful. And then the last thing we need to do in here is get the molding. This is the room and it is um it's looking beautiful we just basically need to do the molding all around the room and then this front door and she's done and moving on to the kitchen so as you saw previously we took out the wall that you know had these two rooms together we did recessed lighting in here
updates to this room is we, I think, are pretty much done with all the lighting. We made this a three-way switch, so it controls these lights, these lights, and then we will have pennants that hang from here for the island. So Derek did that. That was pretty hard. He had um, my mom's boyfriend help him do that. That was difficult. We replaced some electrical wiring in there that was not done correctly. We have done electrical in here. Let's see, change up these switches. We've added these two switches because guys, there's no light switch. Like there's no electrical outlets in these rooms. It's ridiculous. There's like one in each room. So we did all that, but this has changed a lot. So basically we were thinking, okay, this wall is done. We mudded it and we put, you know, everything back together. And so we ordered a new fridge. If you saw my Insta stories of how exciting that was. Yeah, I'm a dork. Okay, got a new fridge. And then we've slowly been installing cupboards as this wall has been finished. We have installed all these so far. So obviously no countertop there yet because it'll be, I think for the kitchen, this is, you know, probably the biggest thing right here and the most exciting. Um, what is coming up? We have windows for the kitchen. So these three windows right here are being replaced next week. My mom's boyfriend is coming over. Oh, Jerick says I should stop calling him my mom's boyfriend because he's my stepdad basically. Okay, so my stepdad. <laughs> he is coming over this weekend with my mom and they are going to work on taking the gas stove line from this side over to this side because this is where it'll be. That'll be the hood, obviously. So that will be happening this weekend, hopefully. And then we need to finish up um, there's a one more electrical thing we need to like hardwire into the outlet box downstairs. And then that will be done. And then we can um, finish this wall and work on this wall. And then once this wall is done, I think we're gonna order the cabinets that go here. Once this is done, I think then we'll order take all this shit out and order the cabinets. Um, we have been trying to save this space for a little bit just to work on and not be like 100% completely out of the kitchen. Um, if you're doing a kitchen renovation and it's a contractor, obviously they will take everything out, but you're usually looking at like six to eight weeks. So having a kitchen with no, or having no kitchen for six to eight weeks is different than we're on month four. So imagine if we didn't have this for four months, like I just, We've been eating a lot at home, surprisingly, even with everything going on. I just get really uh, like burnt out with constantly eating out and stuff. So, anywho, that is the update for this room. So, we are in month four. I am hoping we have two to four months left. I'm really hoping for two, if I'm honest. I really, really hope it's two. Um, yeah, so that is that. I hope you guys have enjoyed following us along on this journey. It has been not too bad. I won't lie, it hasn't been too bad. It's been a little stressful and frustrating and like living in this chaos, but honestly, the boys have been incredible. They have put in a lot of work. They have made money because work, you know, this kind of work is big money. Um, they have been just really good about listening to like not touching this and wearing shoes and you know um but yeah it's been really good and i'm really happy still even on month four that we have decided to do this ourselves and hopefully in the future uh we can do this again to other properties for investment purposes so thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions on paint colors i mentioned or cabinets or i don't know anything like that 
I'll have it listed down below. And if you want to keep following along, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.